Today I'm going to be showing you all how to get Alt Store on Windows 10. And what Alt Store basically allows you to do is sideload IPA files onto any iOS device. So the first thing you want to do is head over to a web browser and type in Alt Store. Dot io. And that's all one word. And once you do that, I'll bring you to their homepage. And on here, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download it on Windows 10, but it's also supported on Mac OS. So go ahead and click on the Windows 10 download. And once you do that, it'll pop up with a thing asking where you want to install it. I'm going to install it to my downloads folder so it's easy to find. You can install it wherever you want. And that shouldn't take too long. And once that's done, you can just go ahead and open up that zip that just downloaded. And once you do that, just look for setup.exe and double click that. And here's where it'll install Art Server. So you can go ahead and click on next. I'm just gonna go ahead and install it for just myself because I'm the only one that uses this computer, but if you have multiple users on your computer, you can go ahead and install it for everyone. That's really your preference. And now it's gonna begin the install, so you can go ahead and click on next. And you will get a pop-up asking if you want this publisher to make changes to your device, and you're just gonna click on yes. And that shouldn't have took too long, and once it's done, it's just gonna ask you to click close. You can go ahead and do that. And now you can close out of that folder window, and you can close out of your browser. And now what you want to do is come down to the search bar in the bottom of your screen and type in alt, and it should come up with alt server, and if it doesn't come up right away, just finish putting in server after it, and it should pop up here. And now you're just going to want to click on this, so to do that, just double click it. And two pop-ups will come up here. You know, it's asking if you can check for automatic updates, I'm going to click yes on that. And it's also asking you to install iCloud. So to do this, just click on download. And we can also save this to our downloads folder or wherever you like. Click on save. And once that is completed, just open up that iCloud setup file that just downloaded. And it's going to ask you to agree to the license. And once you do that, you just click on install. And you'll get another pop-up asking if this installer can make changes to your device, and you're going to click yes. Okay, and iCloud is now finished downloading, so you can go ahead and click on finish. And this pop-up here will ask you if you want to restart your system now or if you want to restart it later. I'm just going to go ahead and restart it later, but if you guys want, you can just go ahead and do that now. And once again, you can close out your web browser. And now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and plug in your iOS device to your computer. And once you do that, it should be connected and it might pop up with a folder here, it might open iTunes, it does different things depending on your device and its configuration. And if you've never connected your device to this computer before, it's going to ask you to trust it. And all you have to do for that is plug your device in and then it'll come up with a pop-up asking if you want to trust it, click on trust and then put in your device password and you're good to go. But once it's connected, just head down to that bottom right arrow on the bottom of your screen and you'll see the alt store is now installed here so just go ahead and left click on that and then go over to install alt store and click on the device that's been plugged into your computer for me that's ipad or old and now it's going to ask you for your apple id and password And once you type that in, just go ahead and click on install. And now it's going to go ahead and install Alt Store on your device. And the installation has succeeded. So now head over to your iOS device. Alright, and once you're on your iOS device, you're going to see that Alt Store has been installed to your homepage. And if you go and try to open it up, it's going to say it's an untrusted developer. And all this means is that you haven't trusted your profile yet in settings, and I'll show you guys how to do that. So just go ahead and open up settings. Go to general. Look for device management. Developer app. And then just go ahead and click on trust. And then click on trust again. And now Altstar will open up just fine.
And there you guys go, Alt Store has been installed. And you should be all set up. So, so thanks for watching. If you had any troubles, just feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I plan to be using this in some future videos, so stay tuned.